So my th the scene that I think kind of best demonstrates uh, my overall feelings of the film of old of my old ass in terms of just the thematic concept on maturity and growing and about you know just you know about uh, you know about valuing people's you know around you. My, the, the scene though that sticks to me the most is when the character is is laying in bed with her future self and openly asks if she can kiss herself and feel her ass. Yeah. I'm pretty sure you're in you, I'm pretty sure you are in for a very very mature exploration on the subject of maturity. Because nothing speaks more volumes of maturity than someone wanting to kiss themselves and grab their own ass. Very thoughtful writing. Hey everybody, welcome back to another movie review. Hope you guys have been enjoying the content on the channel as of late. Excuse me, my voice seems a little dry, just... I was getting out of the theater, and quite frankly, I was doing some some commentary while watching this because, as you can tell by my face, I I have some thoughts on this. Um, so, so I just got out of seeing a, a, the latest mystery movie, and it really wasn't a mystery this time around, considering what was what was um, kind of available in terms of a you know like selection of ideas for what the mystery movie could be. It was pretty painstakingly obvious this time around, and curious enough, so went to check out My Old Ass, uh, which was written and directed by Megan Park, which the name sounds familiar. I want to say that she did a film on Netflix, um, another coming-of-age type thing. I could be wrong, but um, I do not know who the stars, but I know that Arbiera Plaza makes a brief appearance here, here and out, here and there throughout the film, but it centralizes on a group of kids um who are um i believe they are like 18 19 or so and one of them who we focus on is getting ready to move out and she's ready to just head off to her new life and uh one night uh while doing shrooms with her friends getting really really effed up uh she meets her future self and her future self who is at this point in her life 39 years old played by Obera, Obera Plaza, and the two of them start to interact with one another, and they, the, the, her future self gives her information regarding her journey, and uh, in that she learns about, you know, about, about you know, the, 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 the destiny and future, you know, plans, and about maybe doing your own thing, and perhaps your old self or your old, your future self is not completely justified in their reasoning and the respect of your past self like here, here here's the problems so um firstly i must say i think that it um excluding the writing which i think is a monumental issue of this um i think that the performances are are not completely without merit i think that they are capable Although I must say that the attitudes of them I do not jive with at all. I, I'm not with this with this generation's behavior. You know, it's amplified so much in this. It really, really does not work for me at all. It's very annoying and very self-aggrandizing, very narcissistic, very full of itself. I mean, to many respects, that is the filmmaking, uh, you know, because what the movie is stating very much so in its thesis in its conceit is that don't listen to your to your to the, your future self the ones who have been through it have grown and gained experience and wisdom along the way don't listen to them just live in the now do stupid things if you want to be stupid be stupid you know it's fine because you're young even though the very definition of youth today is very much so not what is the general definition or the general experience of being young it actually is as someone who is at this age a very stupid time people at my age are doing very stupid things and many years later they'll look back on it and say yeah 
that wasn't a great thing. Or they just become more narcissistic and more just, you know, infused with their ego. And they just think, look back on it with laughter and stuff like that, even though it's not really that funny. Um, but the film paints the, the adult version of this character as basically a party pooper, as someone who is, you know, just killing the mood, as they would say. And not someone who has wisdom or has, you know, has very important things to give to this character. Which, honestly, the character, even on its own, doesn't even have much to give to the, our youth, or to the youth. It's just, you know, there's a, a secret that this character holds. And once you hear, hear what the secret is, it's just like, firstly, how does this help this, how does this, help this, this character? And secondly, why do we have to make a point about this at all? I mean, why? What, what is the, uh, the entire point? of letting that character know about that. You know, you're just setting up for that dynamic that they're making, because it's also, you know, a coming-of-age tale, and she's exploring, mainly due to her sexuality, about, you know, potentially being bi. Um, <clears throat> and the information that was given to her at the end, it's just like, I'm not entirely sure if that's information that that character should have, you know, I, I just don't I think that that's valuable information. And it's, again, making it so that, that it is creating a very narrow-minded idea about being young and about the value of being, a youth, being youthful and maturity. It's making an incredibly, incredibly naive statement on that front in that it is making it so that the older character doesn't have anything valuable to give to the youth, even though in reality... And if they were to give more dimensions, more portraits to that specific character in Arbier Plaza's character, what she brings to the youth, there would be, of course, a ton of wisdom and a ton of things that they can tell their young self. You know, it's the whole question of what will you tell your young self? And the answer is that apparently you don't have anything valuable to give to your young self because apparently you just don't have any wisdom whatsoever over the years, that you know, over the past decades Apparently, you just haven't collected anything. That's what the film is basically telling you. And it's and it's very immature. It is an incredibly immature statement to make. And, and it really boils down to the writing, which I think is both cringy and, because I said it's infused itself with this generational, this my current generation, this just, this, this attitude, this behavior, and it's just so so annoying and so um so without depth and has little flavor whatsoever except just 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 ignorance and just completely without intelligence you know they're just they're, there's like like, like I, I don't quite understand the journey that the character goes on because when we get to that point of when the film makes that statement about how basically the 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 older crowd doesn't have anything good to, to to tell us, so fuck them. Let's just go live our lives. It makes you wonder what was the point of the film, and structurally speaking, by and also by how, the foundation of its rules, it's fairly non-existent because we start off the film with them with the with the with the with the, with the girl taking shrooms, and that's how this older self is conjured up, and you think that it's a manifestation in her mind, and then. I'm not joking. I'm going to spoil this just so you can understand how ludicrous this film gets. Um, so we start off with that and you think that, okay, that's fine. I mean, at least it's like, you know, it's, 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 it's her, you know, just literally on eternally, you know, growing. And I think that that's kind of a, and it's in the, the older version of herself as an, as a manifestation of, you know, that the externalized, you know, uh, uh, maturity, you know, kind of birthing inside her, which I think would have been a nice idea to ex to have explored. But instead, what it is is a time travel scenario. I'm not joking. It's a time travel scenario where, when one of these characters gets high enough, they apparently can just see each other or interact with each other, or not even with drugs in the scenario at some points where there's no shrooms, no weed, nothing there that's triggering the event. They could just talk to each other at will. They have a phone number, so somehow they're able to connect through time and space. And other people can also see RBR Plaza's character, so it's not just a mutual thing between these two. It just... It, 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 it literally, at one point, I think the film literally does say to us that, you know, 
the rules of how this works because the character herself is trying at one point ask Arbiera Plaza's character how does this work like do I have to get high like do I have to do this and that and Arbiera Plaza's character basically says who cares and at that point and, and that the reason why I remember that very strongly the most about this film is that that it, it basically told it basically told us as the as the audience that look we're really not going to have much of a a consistency here we're just going to do literally whatever we want there's a one at one point when the main character starts to sing uh there is uh just 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 a lot of stuff and it, what it boils down to like i said is just a heft of ignorance and it doesn't have any value real value on commenting on youth and about progression and about maturity it is very very naive and I think that many people who are at my age and look at this, I, I, I sincerely hope that you look at what it's telling you and go, wow, that really isn't how you should be moving through life. I mean, that is just stupid, you know, and by thematic quality, it is stupid. It is just dumb and very, very self-centered and it just, just kind of spits on adults, it spits on the faces of adults. I mean, it just like... The one thing that I felt would have worked a lot is that there's this idea of her mother that's kind of like flirted in the background. I honestly thought if, because I'll just spoil one part of the movie. So the secret that she has is that, because this girl who is basically kind of just, just kind of flaunting around, just kind of basically just horny and whatever. And she, you know, has sex with a girl a few times. For some reason, she has doubts whether or not she's gay or not, you know, just, okay. And then she, uh, she then falls for this guy. And, and then she's like, you know, she's trying to figure that out. And then, um, and the secret that the older person has is that the guy eventually dies. And that's where I was alluding to earlier, where it's like, why on earth would this, would the young person want to know this stuff? Why would you want to tell someone, hey, just so you know, you have maybe about 14, 15 years with this person. Have fun. That's that's just not really great to tell someone, you know? And also, um, it doesn't do anything. There's just it doesn't infuse anything into that dynamic because that dynamic is so wooden and so flat. I mean, performance wise, I think again it's okay, but I don't care for what for these characters. I don't care for who they are as people because they're just annoying and so self-centered. Um, and what I was thinking about when that was unveiled was why didn't we just make it about the mother? You know, the mother is in the background the entire time. Why didn't they just make it about the mother where the mother passes on and then she learns to value about being closer to her family, but having the boyfriend as a as a as a reminder about her youth to have that medium to have that balance so that she can have her fun but also understanding her loyal her loyalties and what she has to do in the family what it, when it comes time to being serious taking charge on that i mean wouldn't that have been better like that i feel like that that would have been a lot more better and that would have landed so much more in the commentary of maturity and and progression but no we have to have a horny teen, a horny teenager who likes this guy, doubts her, her labels, and uh, and apparently just is all right and all knowing, and the adult is just just full of shit. So yeah, that's the message here, and I I really think that if you think this message is is profound and you know in depth okay but i i think any other mature person legitimate mature person will look at this and just laugh because it is a comedy it absolutely is and just the construction of its of its of its you know it's 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 dialogue and just the structure of it all the delivery of it it absolutely is a comedy but man is it is it laughter for all the wrong reasons it is laughter in the mocking of it and not in the in the involvement of it so yeah so i i just i was 
I was really, really put off by it, especially by just the, just by the energy of this, of it, of the, the, the fusion of the, of the, this current generation's energy, which is so toxic and so vile and so narcissistic. And in many respects, that's the film itself. And I don't think of it to be informative. I think of it to be very, very narrow-minded and very self-centered, very self-centered. So yeah, I wasn't, I, I really didn't have a good time with it. I laughed a lot, but like I said, for a lot of the wrong reasons. So, so, so yeah, so those are my thoughts on my old ass. I wasn't crazy about it. I really didn't like the approach to its themes. I think that it could have done something a lot more. I, could, I think it could have handled it in a much more mature manner, but inst instead it is literally directed by someone who is 18 years old. And I don't know if that's the case. I, I should probably. I, I, I want to look that up. I want to see how old this uh, this director is, because you have to be that young to in this current generation to think the way that these characters think and think that that is profound. Because it is not. It is very, very stupid, and no one calls that out at all. They say that, but they don't really understand that. So they just think that they're all knowing and also also wise meanwhile she's just taking shrooms left and right she's having sex meaningless sex like and hopping into romance even though not understanding the concept of romance at all yeah really wise really wise so but hey she's doing stupid things so i guess she's gonna learn something and then at the end of the day right do stupid things to understand the value of things right like that's the way that this generation likes to roll in my eye hey Sure, you're going to learn something, but it doesn't change the fact that it was a fucking stupid thing. No, it wasn't. So. But anyways, those are my thoughts on my old ass. You guys let me know your thoughts on my old ass if you guys have seen it. Uh, any thoughts on just the ideas? I really don't think it demonstrated those ideas well. But let me know all your thoughts in the comment section below. And that's going to be it for this video, guys. Thank you guys for tuning in. And until then, I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye.